Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and today we're doing again the 1997 Four Winds 240 Horizon. Today we're throwing caution to the wind. We're pulling out the Merca Merca Aberlon 500 grit pad, followed up with the 1000 grit, followed up with the Meguiar's power cut, and then the one step compound. And why are we doing this? Well, let's take a quick walk around here. Here's our boat I already shipped off the decals if you watched the uh, first day, second day, third day. But you can see that this boat is pretty darn oxidized. That's just power cut right there from when I did the bottom, right? I did this the other day right there, nice and shiny with the thousand, but I burnt through pads. Um, that's what, that's the color it was, and that's what we're going to be contending with today. So starting over here today, we're going to come at it with the 500. A little bit nervous 500 grit is pretty aggressive but we're going to come at it here we're going to follow up with the thousand we're going to follow up with the mcguire's 91 the mcguire 67 and then if i'm not dead by the end of the day we're going to move to the top side uh we're not going to wash and wax until later in the week but that's where we're at so hang around and enjoy the show all right here we go i'm gonna put you up close so you can see what's going on we've got our harbor free da polisher with the get over here with the Merca Aberlon 500 grit uh, wet sanding. I'm a little bit nervous about this. Uh, hopefully you can see from that angle. Um, but you know what? There's no time like the present, so let's get this show on the road. This is just soapy water. Soap that bad boy up. Right there. We well soap up our pad, soap up the boat. I've got this on about two, two and a half. Here goes nothing. We're going to go up and down, left and right. The oxidation is really bad on this boat, so I'm going to do this real time for a little while with you, and then I'll throw you into hyperlapse afterwards, and you can watch it. Uh, you can watch it unfold. All right, let's go left right now, and I really wanted to get rid of this these decals, but I can tell you, even with the thousand or the 500 grit. Not doing what I thought it would. All right, well, maybe if I bump it up to three, I'm a little nervous about that, but oh, it's bleeding. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna spend a little extra time with the decal for all I'm going to do because I'm starting to see white come through. I don't like that. I fear I may have sanded too much. 500. Very aggressive. Well, you know, I originally was going to start inside. And I was like, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's not. It's not fine. Um, we're going to stop right there. I am burning through the gel coat on this, it looks like. Uh, so we're not going to do any more. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, it's the back of the boat, so that's why I started there. Uh, it looks like I can only hit this very briefly with the 500 before I burn through it. Um, yeah, thank you. I'm going to hit the pause button. 
All right, so I don't think I'm going to be able to sand this enough without burning through the rest of this gel coat uh, to get out the decal. So I think what I'm going to do is throw in the towel on this. Uh, I'm going to hit the whole boat with the 500 quickly, come back with the 1,000 quickly, and go from there. All right, so... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a learning. Good thing this is a $4,000 boat that I'm learning on. Gosh darn it. It is going to piss me off. It really is. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go get the power cut and see what happens. See if I can shine it up a little bit. So originally I was a little hard on these uh, tougher buffer pads from uh, Harbor Freight, but I just ran... I mean, they're in pretty good condition for using it the other day. I just ran this thing through it. All right, cool. All right, here it goes. Shake well. Shaking, shaking, shaking. I know it's not going to do much because I can tell I burned it. Burn through it. Well, here we go. Let's see if we can restore it. We're going to go nice and quick now. Not going to spend a lot of time. You know, you know, maybe that's not gel, maybe that's not cutting through the gel coat. Because the more I buff that out, it's hard to tell. There's a lot of white speck in here, but the white speck is disappearing with the power cut. I'm going to hit it one more time and then come back with the 67 and see what happens because. Maybe I just don't, well, not maybe. I know I don't know what I'm doing. for a living tell me I'm crazy or I'm not ah, hey listen it is what it is at this point don't you fall on the ground pad stay up there all right take that off of there looking pretty good we're gonna do this in uh, real time take off that one I should write on here this was used with 67 this was used with 91 because I think I'm... Shake, shake. Alright, let's go. Alright, oh, caught you. Is it raining out? Oh, of course. The day I have free, it's going to rain. That was way too much, by the way. So let's just spread this thing out. And we'll hit that one.
Oh well, that looks significantly better than where we started with that. You know, what? let me hit the pause button. Hey, right, I'm back. I'm gonna try putting on some high gloss polish. Why not? See what happens here. Ah. That came flying off. Hey McGuire's, are you sure I can't apply this stuff with a uh, with a, a DA polisher and a foam pad? My arm's gonna break by the time I get done. Well, folks, that that looks pretty good. Well, I'm going to hit the pause button and think about this. All right, I'm trying to zoom in here to show you. But, I mean, like, right through here, there's, like, all little white dots in there. And, uh, see if I can come to this side. See, I just don't know if my phone is picking it up for you. Anyway, uh, let me go one more time here. So, yeah, um... Oh, wide angle. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if I'm just not being uh, brave enough and really cutting into it because that's oxidation down deep into those pits or if I am going too deep. So, like I said, if you're a detailer, hey, hints are always appreciated. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to keep on going with the 500. We got to get this boat in the water and this is just taking too much time at this point. So, we're going to go, we're going to hit the whole boat with the 500, and uh, then we'll go from there. All right? So, hyperlapse it is. Really quick, uh, going okay. Um, I just hit that quick with the uh, 500. It, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's really starting to get caked up in there. Uh, I think I'm going to switch to this other pad that I've been using to do with hand, or by hand rather. Um, and then see if this does any better move on. What I want to do is... There we go. Kind of get it to kick out whatever's in there. Feel what a new one feels like. Uh, yeah, this one's okay. This one, eh, maybe not so much. Um, I did the white part because there was a lot of like road grime and stuff. So I wanted to take that off and it did okay. So uh, I'm going to set you up on the side of the boat. And we're going to hammer all the way around. I'm not spending a lot of time on it. Um, again, I don't know the extent of uh, how much I'm taking off, so let's go.
I'm sorry. The lighting absolutely sucks. Ugh. It's a weary day out here, but it's all you got to work with, so you got to deal with it. Uh, we did up to the four winds so far. Um, it looks like, to be honest, it, what's crazy is it took off the decal remainder of like the, what you can see from the decals. Um, it took that off, but it didn't do it in some places. In some places, it's like it didn't even touch it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to dry this off and see what it looks like. And then we're going to go from there. Yeah, let's let that air dry a little bit. Uh, cool. Pause. I bring you up closer. It is what it is, right? Like, just gotta. I think I just gotta keep going. Uh, it's hard to. I can't get the lighting right today, or yesterday, or the day before. Um, you can still see where the decals were. Doug. Doug does stuff. He doesn't do detailing well. Haha. -ha. Uh, anyway, we did up to here, uh, up to the four winds, which is my little mark there, so I knew where I was. Um, I just got to finish this. Just got to finish it. And then we'll decide if we're going to 1,000 and go from there. Um, this right here, there's like a little design in here where it cups right there. And that's that's where I'm not getting. So I got to I gotta get in there. Anyway, uh... I don't know. Stick around. All right, so the whole boat has been uh, wet sanded with 500, wet sanded with 1,000, rinsed and wiped down. You can see, yeah, you can see it right there. I must have spent a little too much time on that section. Um, I don't know if I wet sanded right. I mean, it, it's still kind of shiny through here. Did I just not take off enough, spend enough time on it, change the pad enough? I don't know. Um... You know, I can still see where the decals were. We talked about that. Uh, anyway, let me go to the other side for you. Uh, this is where we did earlier. So, I don't know. Um, like I said, it's time to get this boat in the water. Uh, couldn't really get out that scratch. We tried. You know, I didn't want to go too deep into this. Because, again, I, I don't know how much I can cut and how much I can't. So, anyway, um, that's what we've done so far. Now I'm going to come back. I'm going to 91 it. See, that's a good angle right there. I don't know if you, I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Yeah, it is. You can see it's dull right here, shiny right here. This whole area is dull. It's like maybe the pad, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't rinsing the pad enough. It's going to be interesting, actually, thinking about this. If where this is still shiny and where it's dull, if the decals disappear, because all through here, I don't feel anything. So let's see what happens. I mean, it's going to be, it's, if nothing else, it's going to look better. 
So anyway, uh, hyperlapse you go, power cut 91, here we come. All right, so it's going okay. Uh, definitely cutting into the gel coat, as you can see. Getting some red off of our pad, sorry about that. Um, you can see maybe the sun is very bright all of a sudden. Where I've done, where I haven't done. Uh, it's looking pretty, pretty darn good, pretty shiny. Again though, I mean, I'm not able, you can't really tell, maybe you can. I can't get the decal uh, coloring off. It just is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to finish doing the one step. Uh, not the one step. Sorry. The power cut 91 Meguiar's on the entirety of both sides. I'll do another walk around. And then I'll do the 67 and give you another walk around. Cool. I got to get through this. Whew. It's been a long day. We've done the 500 grit. The 1000 grit. We did the Meguiar's 91, we did the Meguiar's 67, and now I'm going to do the Meguiar's 45 high gloss polish. Uh, let's take a closer look here and zoom in. Um, it really did a phenomenal job um, with the wet sanding, the power cut, and the 67. You know, you can see areas where it's a little bit lighter, but that's on me. Um, same thing right there, that's on me. Taking a walk around the whole boat here. The decals, except where it was super oxidized, um, have, you know, from a distance, they've really disappeared. Um, you can see them here, but, uh, you know, right there, I probably could have gone a little bit deeper. All in all, it came out really good. Uh, we're going to do the high gloss polish right now and see if we can see ourselves more than we already can stay tuned and we are done with a high gloss 45 uh, mcguire's polish you can see it has done a great job bringing out the shine we haven't even waxed the boat yet um, we gotta do the top side still uh, and we only applied the polish to the red not to the uh, white yet there's still a long way to go, but the hardest part is done. That was taken off the decals, wet sanding, multiple steps. Um, the boat is just looking much better. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's it for today. I'm Toast. And uh, like, subscribe, and uh, you know, watch the next one. Look at that shine. Whew. Awesome.